This time we're going to take a look at the Borg Collective OP3 prize ship, the Stargazer. Uh, it's a Constellation class, and uh, we'll get right in and take a look. There we have our Constellation class dial. Pretty maneuverable ship. Got those three 90 degree turns in there. One reverse. No one hard banks, but pretty much everything else, all the way up to the four forward. There you see our Constellation class. Pretty standard maneuvering chart. Nice to see that one reverse in there, those three hard turns, which you don't see on a lot of Federation ships. There's our named Stargazer. It's unique, Federation faction. Three attack, one agility. Four hull, three shields. Pretty respectable. One tech upgrade, one weapon upgrade, one crew upgrade for 22 points. We have evasive, target lock, scan, and battle stations. Pretty standard for a Federation ship. During the activation phase, you may disable one of your active shields to remove an auxiliary power token beside your ship. A couple of interesting uses for that. Works good with some other stuff in the pack. We have our generic... Constitution class ship. You lose one shield and the special ability and the tech upgrade slot for two points less. For captains we have Jean-Luc Picard. Should be a young Jean-Luc. I don't know if they couldn't find a better picture or if they didn't have one to use but anyway. So captain skill is six. One elite talent. Four points. He adds a crew upgrade slot to your bar, and as an action, you can disable all your remaining shields and immediately perform a green or white maneuver. Kind of interesting, um, not as good as the Picard that came with the starter set, I don't think, and uh, certainly not as good as the Picard that's going to be coming with the Enterprise E. I've got to look at that one, so not too impressed with him. He does have his uses, but we have our generic Federation Captain. The skill of one, zero points. This one's kind of interesting. Our elite talent for this one is the Picard Maneuver. It's unique. Five points. And as an action, if you performed a three, four, or five straight board maneuver this round, you can discard this card and immediately perform an additional five straight maneuver. Place an auxiliary power token beside your ship, and all attacks against your ship this round are at negative four attack dice. Very nice at getting out of a, a bad situation. For crew upgrades, we have Jack Crusher. He's two points. And during the modified defense step of the uh, combat phase, you can discard this card and spend a evasive token to add two evasive token or er, uh, results to your roll. So kind of useful if you really need to roll a, a lot of evades. It's probably the most useful and uh, controversial cards in the uh, set. Tactical stations is a uh, weapon upgrade, four points. Some people wonder if it's not a mistake that it's a weapon upgrade, that it's supposed to be a uh, tech upgrade instead, which kind of makes it not quite as useful. But you have two sections here. The very first line is what where the controversy is. It's a weapon upgrade that gives you one additional weapon slot. Uh, when you combine this with various cards that make your upgrades cheaper, you can actually make these free to add to your ship. And being that it takes a slot and grants the exact same slot, you can put an unlimited number of them on your ship. So, the, the rumors go both ways that maybe it should have been a tech upgrade, not a weapon upgrade. The other one is that it's basically WizKid's way of saying screw you to all the places who allow people to use print and play. So, either way... Um, what it does is when attacking, you can disable this card to gain plus one attack die until the end phase. Or when attacking, you can discard this card to gain plus two attack dice to the end phase. So again, the more of these you can pile on a ship, the more bonuses you can get from those. And our last card for this pack, Secondary Impulse Reactor. This one's a tech upgrade for one point. During the activation phase, if you reveal a red maneuver and you have an auxiliary power token beside your ship, you may disable this card to perform that maneuver with no penalty. 
This is useful in a couple scenarios. The most common is going to be um, the Ferengi EM Pulse, which puts the auxiliary power token on you. And a lot of times in OP play, you'll see people use that so that they can force you, knowing you chose a red manure, maybe a come about or something, they can force an auxiliary power token on your ship, which means you can't make that red maneuver and they get to pick your maneuver for you and sometimes they can fly you off the board or run you into something. Um, this counteracts that. It also can be useful to pull double uh, red maneuvers in a row if the need arises. So has its uses um, for a one point. Sure, if you got the extra point, why not? For the rest of the pack, we have our... Um, Reminder token here for the Picard Maneuver, a Disable token, Auxiliary Power and Critical Hit tokens, there's a Battle Station Scan and Evasive, our three shields, and Target Lock C1. For the ship, once again, we have quite a detailed model, but not a very good paint job. They did a little better on the, uh, on the ends here where the... Um, mold lines were. They're not quite as bad as they have been on some of the previous ships. It's actually quite a small model. I was expecting it to be quite a bit bigger. You know, it's more on scale with the uh, Tiny Prize than some of the other ships. But then again, it's an older ship. It should be smaller. And you can see that mold line there. Another one that will look good with the wash on there. There we have our Stargazer base. It's got that 180 degree arc fire to the front. Kind of nice. And our generic constellation class. All in all, it's not a bad expansion. A um, little bit let down by Picard, but then again, this is supposed to be rookie Picard. He's not nearly as good as the starter set one or the one that's coming with the E. But then again, he shouldn't be. The card maneuvers an entertaining card with lots of possibilities. Tactical stations, whether it's a misprint or not, is still a, a very powerful and useful card. I think you're going to see a lot of those in the future. Uh, it's part of the reason this price for this ship is going so high on the secondary market. Everybody's trying to stockpile those. I will warn you, if you do try to go to places like eBay to buy the ship, make sure to, to check the description to make sure that the tactical stations card is there. I've seen a lot of auctions up where people are taking the tactical station card out and then selling off the ship and uh, still charging full price for it. So you got to watch those descriptions and make sure that card's actually in there. But another decent addition to the Federation, it's an older ship, but I think it can hold its own against even some of the newer stuff out there. A little bit lacking in the upgrade bar. But with things like the flagship cards, um, some of the newer captains, I know the new Picard that's coming out has a really cool ability to add more slots to your bar, which will definitely help the ship in the long run. But even as its own, um, it, it's a, a decent Federation ship. Anyway, that's it for this one, and I'll uh, see you in the next video.